souls of all souls in purgatory, all unborn babies, soul of Deborah Cardoso, who passed away yesterday evening in Goa, India, offered by Johnny Fernandez's parents, Peter and Joanna Cardoso, and family. Soul of Gladys and Robert Morales, soul of Consolation Celero, soul of Merlin Celero. the human race. He will dwell with them and they will be his people. And the God himself with them will be their God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, in this feast of the dedication of the Basilica, Lateran Basilica, let us today acknowledge our sins and to so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to the mighty God, God. And, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, words, and I want what I have done, done and what I have done, 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 through my fault, through my fault, through my fault, through my fault, therefore I ask that you may be ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, we pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, who give us our sins, and they bring us to everlasting life.
God, who from living and the chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. So, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and dreams with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple towards the east for the facade of the temple was towards the south. The water flowed down from the southern side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, this water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea, the salt waters, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fade. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The waters of the river and the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of the dawn. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it. For no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. The word of the Lord. Finally rise. Yeah.
together. I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, that my name may be there forever. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Since the Passover of the Jew was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there, he made a whip out of courts and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and the oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, take this out of here and stop making my father's house, a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, zeal for your house will consume me. At this the Jews answered and said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days. But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Good evening, my brothers and sisters. Today we are celebrating the feast of the dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome. And I hope uh, some of us went there to see this basilica and visited. And today, let us ask from God, as uh, always I ask from God, to give us a word for us tonight about this feast. Because this is very important feast, one of the important feasts in the church. Because uh, this basilica is the fruits of experience. Is a very, very huge, very nice, very beauty. But this basilica is a fruits of experience of a one person, pagan. And in this pagan is so sign. And thank us of this sign, he conquered a war and conquered this war, he offered from his heart to God this the construction of this basilica in 314. 
at the at the hero who speak about basilica is a, is connected with the hope of god the presence of god and first of all what i want i want i want high line for me and you today is a symbol of this basilica and our life and the we say we can say tonight with this basilica to have or to build a house of God, a home of God, important we have experience behind. I can say more deeply of this to have our family is a family as domestic church is a home of God is a need is experience behind we can say we can't have this home of God in our family without experience as also this basilica of lateral without experience can't come to be built by emperor is named Constantine. What is the sign? The important sign is the cause of the construction of this basilica. And with this sign, Constantine conquered his enemy as a pagan, is a cross. And what Constantine gave this basilica when built it in 314. Santissimo Salvatore. It's a basilica of Santissimo Salvatore. Is it in English? The basilica of Santissimo, what in English? Santissimo is like holy, yes? The Savior. Salvatore is a Savior. It's a basilica of the Holy Savior. Because Constantine is so only one is save him is Jesus Christ. But you know Jesus Christ with his sign, the cross. And he's the war, he appears the cross, and he saw the cross and conquered his enemy. And thank you for this sign. Constantine conquered, conquered the enemy and uh, build this church. It's a meaning for me and you, also something important. What does it mean for me? It's a cross. The cross, what is meaning for me? What is mean for me? Jesus, the cross of Jesus Christ. Because one of the really important in this, in this basilica is the peace of the Holy Cross of Jesus. For this, it's, it's today is a recording from God to, to see Jesus. What is the cross of Jesus for me today? This I said before. It's a malediction, it's a maledicted, it's a maledicted wood. It's a rejected wood. This became a holy cross with Jesus. Jesus took the is malediction, the malediction of the nation. And the, the rejection had become rejected and maledicted for love of us until he gave his life for me and you. And from this cross gave me the life. And from this cross he started to, to rebuild everything, the creation, more important the creation, the disciples. More important than the, the disciples, the church, the first community. And through this sign of love of Jesus, Jesus saved and gave the life to all, to all the community, to all the church. And they make participate these disciples in this cross. It's being gave their life until the end. And from the fruits of this given life, 
he constructed new community, new churches. And also this basilica, we can say, because this is the fourth century we speak here, this basilica is not only the fruit of Jesus, the suffering of Jesus on the cross, but showing to the humanity this suffering in the persecution of the Christian community in three centuries. And thanks of these martyrs in three centuries, the fruits of this give life in Constantine meet Jesus Christ. And the, the, the Roman Empire changed from paganism to Christianism. And the fruit is a basilica, home of God. I don't know if you understand what I want to say to me and you. Because also this basilica is the fruits of the persecuted church in three century. And also today we can say if we want to have as this basilica in us our family as a hope of God, as a new home, as very beauty, as very huge, very, very beautiful family. What is the mystery of this? Is the persecution. And I remind you the last lesson of Makari, Jesus said, starting from the poor, ended blessed for who persecuted and say every kind of malice against you for my name. This, my brothers and sisters, this uh, how to build, how to really to build the church, the home of God. The persecution, and what is the persecution? It's meaning appeal in us the death of uh, this you, old human being and uh, the reason Lord in us. It's meaning I am dying from my egoism, from my own self, from my avarice, from my adultery, from my old demand, and there is in me this reason, Lord. The persecution appears in me and you to see who is I am. Because uh, to, to, to bless each other is very lovely, it's very nice. To say you are great is very nice. But you are, you are stupid. You are not understand nothing. You do and to say, say something against what you, what you, what you, we like, is something uh, break me and you. And you become angry. And you attack. And something uh, come out from me and you, horrible. Not connecting with Christ. Not connecting with God. Not connecting with nothing. Only with a man of sin. Under the slavery of sin. The man is in this sin slave. For this Jesus Christ today shaking these homes with his spirit. And to say, don't make from this house of my father marketplace. Don't do it from your family marketplace. I make good, you make good. Slave of too money, marketplace to have something succeed, study, everything. And Jesus threw out the tables. And it's very important the tables. Because the tables, I, was, I won't conclude with this, because the table is a sign of to, to be together. And Jesus make fall down these tables. Of this, uh, of this people. Also today, can make uh, also fell down this our table, our gathering in the family as a marketplace, and then to try to teach me and you another meaning of table. It's the table of Passover, and this is the second design in this Basilica of Lateran. We have the wood of Christ, the cross of Christ, second the relic, second relic in this basilica, the table of 
the Passover of the Lord. And the table where Peter celebrates the Eucharist with the first community is the table, cross and table. And today also through this, uh, this cross today, this really to be really to show in us this life of Christ. Today, Jesus can make me and you give us the opportunity, the grace, how to be gathered together in one table, as he, he did it this and celebrated his last Passover on this table to give his life and make covenant of love and unity. And also me and you today coming to the church with this table of Christ, we can really, we can rebuild our homes, our life with him. Guys, my brothers and sisters, let us today ask this from God. Lord, help me, light me on my cross. Through this cross today, I want to enter, help me to enter the covenant with you. And today, really teach me the meaning of the tables at my home. Every, every gathering, it will be only for you and the only to have you in between us. And through this, we can have the life today. Our Savior dwells within the living temple of his church. A baptized people gathered around the successor of St. Peter, we pray to our Father, inspired by the Holy Spirit. Let our response be, Lord, bless us, your living temples. Lord, bless us, your living temples. That the universal church may grow in unity and faith through our fidelity to the Pope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless us, us your living temples, temples, that nations may live in peace and avoid vindictiveness and rivalry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless us, us your living temples, that those searching for God may find the rock of Peter's faith and the courage of St. John the Baptist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless us, us, your living temples, that we may demonstrate our faith by the way we care for and use this church building. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless us, us, your living temples, that the dead may become living stones in the eternal temple. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless us, your living temples. Loving Father, you raised the body of your Son, the glorious temple of the resurrection, as his mystical body and temple on earth. We offer our prayers to you, hoping to share in the same resurrection. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brother and sister, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good for his holy church. Let us pray. Accept, we pray, your Lord, the offering made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive in the place the power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in your benevolence you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as a temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace as resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year, you sanctify the church, the pride of Christ, foreshadowed in its visible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with all angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time when he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, particularly the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring health to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our administrator, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age, we may merit to be cured to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior command and the form it by divine teaching with her to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, for it as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and the safe from all distress, <coughs> as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace we grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be saved.
Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem, through the sign of your church on earth, grant, we pray, that by our partaking of this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hello, just before the place, final blessing, happy feast to all of, all of, all of you, in my name, Father Dominic name, and I hope in this uh, feast also, as Constantine gives this church, this basilica, on his land, near his palace, also our life to be like this, because you know, now is an empire palace of Constantine, Changed to become the residence of Pope, and the basilica become is a cathedral of the Pope. And let us also our homes to have this two sign, cross and table. Yes, I hope the cross in your family, at your homes, not like this. Yes, please, let us pay some one cross, nice, a little big, to see this. Uh, love of God and forgiveness for us, and also to remind us to love and forgive each other. And second, the table. Renews our tables at homes with this feast of dedication. Which table? Very easy. The table of the prayer. You have table of the prayer? You make the prayer or not? What do you think? Yes or not? Okay, we have a nice table for a prayer together, around the table together, and for eating, not only in the sofa, yes, for eating together, and also the third table where we sleep, where really we are united together with the will of God. Okay, let us renew this, and let us our, our house be a home of God, as a church, a house, home of God, as a basilica of uh, uh, the, our Savior Jesus Christ is the home of God. And also the basilica through the years took to the name of John Baptist and also John, John Evangelist. With the penitential, it's St. John Baptist, love of God with John Evangelist. Okay? And let our home be like this. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.